Okay. Uh, this is the funniest. I have never seen someone get knelt on like this in my entire life. I have never seen someone get knelt on like this in my entire life. Are you guys prepared? Because this is actually, like, unbelievable. We, we looked at your social media, and you haven't done that many posts specifically calling out Russian attacks on civilian areas. You haven't called Vladimir Putin a war criminal, but you have called Benjamin Netanyahu No, a actually, war we did. Yeah. In, my, in my very first remarks about the Ukraine war, we condemned... Uh, Vladimir Putin's a war criminal. We, we, yes, we did uh, Bashar condemn... Bashar al a war criminal. Uh, yes, in so many words. Yes, we what have said as so much. So you call Netanyahu one, which I think he is. Oh, but absolutely. Is Putin a war criminal? So what we said about Putin was that his invasion of Ukraine is a criminal. It's a criminal and murderous war. And he's a war criminal who should be on trial. Well, by implica by implication. You're struggling but here to say something say, very yes, simple. This well, is why people say, have their doubts about yes, you in Russia. Well, why is Benjamin say, Netanyahu a war criminal but not Vladimir Putin? Well, as as John F. Kennedy said, we must not be afraid to, we must not negotiate out of fear and we must not fear to negotiate. So if you want to be an effective yeah. world leader, you don't start by name calling and hurling So epithets. how will President Stein negotiate with Israel then if you've called Netanyahu a war criminal? Well, because he very clearly is a oh, war criminal. so Putin criminal. clearly isn't a war criminal. Well, we don't have a decision, put it this way, by the International Criminal Court. Yes, we do. Yes, actually, for we, his actually, arrest. actually you're wrong. There's an oh, arrest warrant for, for Putin. For there the... isn't yet an arrest warrant for Netanyahu. So yeah. why is Putin not a war why 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 is it that like for some reason all of these third party candidates seem to be so cozy so cozy with our adversaries and so antagonistic towards our you know towards our own allies War criminal, but Netanyahu is. Yeah. Um, I think well, they're both let me say, you let don't. Me, well, let me say this. Either you're a war criminal or you're not. Is Actually, Vladimir Putin a war criminal? Uh, in, in so many words, yes, he yeah, is. I don't know what so many words are, but is Vladimir Putin a war criminal? Let it, me say that, that whatever you think he is, if you no, want to pull him back... I think. I'm asking what you well, think. You're if you, running for president. If you are not. a world leader, you don't begin your conversation by calling someone a war criminal unless you have So why have you have called Biden clear, and Netanyahu war criminals? Because we have a clear strategy and we have a very strong... Never forget this addendum. I I don't remember ever seeing this, but I also like never gave a f about the Green Party. So supporters and friends, coming to you from Red Square in Moscow, just want to thank you so much for making this wonderful, inspiring trip possible. It has been really incredible to be here at the RT conference in Moscow, meeting with press and policy people from all over the world, uh, including from Russia and Europe and Paris and Germany. It's been so inspiring to see rising up at this very critical and perilous moment that we're in, a moment of grave militarism, potential nuclear confrontation, uh, climate meltdown, uh, and expanding war. It's been so wonderful to see people come together from across all borders and from across the political spectrum, really come together around basic human values, around human rights, around the need for international law, including the need to rein in uh, U.S. exceptionalism and totally reform and revise our foreign policy so that it is based on international law, human rights, and diplomacy. It's been very exciting to see our message and our vision really resonate with others who are really looking for a way uh, to bring us all together around a world that works for all of us and that's really what these people are such scum like they they talk in such nice little platitudes but they just never ever 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 say anything nice about the u.s and they always 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 say shit that is uh, 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 it's so it's so it's so frustrating